Hello, sorry for the wind, it's just coming up. So hopefully it's gonna blow away the June gloom. We do like that. Um, my name's Jason Buck. I work with Remax Estate Properties and I shoot video of listings that come on the market. I'm currently in Lower Malaga Cove. I'm on a street called Via Media. It is so gorgeous. You got Media, then you have Almar um, up above, and then you have, uh, it goes on up into the plaza up above. And um, a lot of these uh, streets were designed so they were terraced so that you would then see out over the ocean. And uh, we are just like so close to the Palos Verdes Beach Club with uh, a whole rec center and then, you know, basically almost your private beach at Rat Beach where you can walk down and enjoy it. It's pretty amazing. So love the Spanish wall out front and a beautiful feel here in this courtyard. Um, you've got the barbecue over there and a sitting area under this gorgeous tree. Um, really enjoyable spot here. Love this entrance, this little courtyard here. You got your faux cane, and we walk on in. Oak floors. Uh, let's get to the view here real quick and see what's happening. So, nice big open room here, and out to our view area. So this uh, is accessed off an alley. So you have the alley access, and then the garage is here. And they're saying that there's room under this property uh, for more, uh, for to add additional square footage. Nice avocado tree and some ocean view. All right. Skim ceilings, it's all recessed, LED. Nice spot. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Michael. Hey, how are you doing? Good. All right, so I, okay, I'm a little turned around. So here's a bedroom down in this mid-level where we came in on the beautiful oak flooring. And that changes, to, so they put the grooves in the floor here. Wow, this is a huge room. This is a massive room for the two girls, perhaps. Maybe one, no, two. Double sinks, so and this might be the master, or was at one time, the master bedroom with the built-ins. Very interesting. Here's dining. Okay. We can go this way to downstairs. We'll get there in a minute. All right, so here's a three quarter bath. Dining. kitchen okay kitchen opens to the pattern that makes a lot of sense laundry's in here as well a little bit of a nook um nice it works i really like going into the patio it's pretty okay the kitchen's mostly original They're nice okay and then there is a room up some stairs here is what they're currently using as the master. It comes out to the bathroom, oh, nice. Oh, the view's much, oh my God, isn't that pretty with the, the neighborhood church, the steeple, it's gorgeous. There's another paddle border. Okay, so this room has no direct bath. So even it's perfect for you know, office slash bedroom. Um, there's no bathroom. Interesting. And then you get into the little bit of a wet bar and the view. So let's see what the rest of the potential is. It's probably gonna be in here. This is all storage right now. But I'm assuming there's a way to take this out and to create more living footage. So here's the garage. And then here's another access to that room. 
not quite um, able for me to stand up here all the way. But some potential nonetheless. And then, you know, alley access. Well, I mean, this part of Malaga Cove, highly desirable. Um, we don't see homes come up in these lower streets that often. Um, and uh, some potential there. So if you'd like more information, also a, another thing to talk about here is what can you do? Um, and there's some pretty interesting rules that I'm aware of. Like when these homes back into the alley, you can shift your garage so that it's not set back. This is the original setback. Um, but when they come off an alley, they actually use the alley as uh, part of your lock coverage so that the garage can be closer. So if you did choose to do some remodeling and such here, you could bring the garage out closer and then turn that into living space. Um, there's lots of stuff that you can do and there's lots of unique rules that Palos Verdes Estates has based on the way that the city was set up. It is one of its kind, a little bit different, but also just a great way uh, to learn about what they thought of and what they thought of was pretty magnificent. And also the, the values hold themselves here in Palos Verdes Estates. Um, and when you're looking at buying a house, maybe you're not looking for exit strategy, but maybe you are. Um, and I would have to say that the exit strategy in Palos Verdes Estates is very good. Um, these assets hold their value really well. But we can get into that another time if you want to discuss. Thanks a lot for watching. Make it a great day.